Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. 番組は多言語放送です。放送予定は suprememastertv.com slash schedule. Here is a quick recipe to prepare when you have hungry guests over. You don't need much, and it's simple and absolutely delicious. Biscotti with vegan cheese, vegan ham and tomatoes, mixed vegetable saute, deep fried plantains, crumbled tofu, part one of two. Stay tuned to find out more. Vegan, the real religious practitioner. When you visit the Republic of Abkhazia, you will hear the locals say Kakdela, which means how are you in Russian, an official language used in Abkhazia. I am Sharina. The people of the Republic of Abkhazia are touched by your love and compassion towards all beings and your endeavors to help save our precious earth. May God bestow love and protection on you for your noble deeds. Welcome to A Gift of Love Simple and Nutritious Cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan. In our spiritual life on earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Kuan Yin method, which enables our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. In our daily lives, Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us to live a meaningful, saintly life with purity and compassion. She shares the art of vegan cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our family and friends over food. Her loving cuisine is not only nutritious and healthy, but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and full of benevolence for all beings. Si nous voulons apporter le paradis sur la terre, nous devons vivre comme les êtres du paradis. C'est-à-dire vivre dans la façon harmonieuse en respectant la liberté et le droit de vivre de chacun. Les cinq préceptes et le régime végétarien, il s'agit seulement d'un style de vie juste et noble, celui d'un gentleman, d'un charge possédant compassion et grandeur et dont l'amour inclut toutes les créatures. Étant l'être le plus élevé de toute la création, nous pouvons distribuer cette grâce en préservant la vie dans le monde où nous vivons. Et c'est cela, contribuer à la paix sur la terre. C'est cela, l'amour, la gentillesse en action. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes veganism as a noble way of living. She personally designed the Alternative Living Flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message with the world. If we want to truly lead 
a life of love thy neighbor. Our neighbors, including our animal friends, especially they harm us in no way. They only beautify our lives and they are loving and they make our lives more lively, colorful and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them, enjoy their presence. God has made it clear. He has said, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarian or vegan, changing their way of thinking in regards to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With boundless love, Supreme Master Ching Hai sets aside her precious time and demonstrates a few simple and aesthetically appetizing dishes. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for sharing with us wonderful vegan dishes and easy cooking tips. Today, we joyfully present Supreme Master Ching Hai's biscotti with vegan cheese, vegan ham and tomatoes, mixed vegetables saute, deep fried plantains, crumbled tofu, part one of two. Hi, if you have a guest coming and you don't have enough time and you haven't done much shopping, you don't need much. If you have this uh, ready-made vegan ham, from your bio shop, then it's good. Vegan cheese, different colors. And just have a couple of leftover vegetables. A leftover this, a leftover a carrot, a cucumber, and some tofu. Just one piece of tofu. A banana or two. And a leftover cabbage. Now the guest is coming, and maybe he's hungry, so you quickly prepare some appetizer first. And then while he's eating the appetizer, you can cook a uh, quick tofu saute and rice. Right. I'm going to tell you some secrets. Sometimes you cook too much rice, and the leftover you don't want to eat right away or you don't have a chance to eat the next day, then you will put the leftover rice in the deep freeze or in the fridge. If you eat it fast in a couple of days, if not, then you put it in the deep freeze with the Ziploc. And whenever you need it, you put it in a microwave and defrost it and warm it until it's hot, like the way you would like to have rice. I'm working, guys. A little noise, okay. Not too much noise. Yeah, take some snacks <laughs> and be quiet. Little boy, I love you. I do love you. Remember, we make some appetizers or snacks, also fine, with the biscuit. Here's a natural one from the bio shop. They make it even in a wholemeal bread. Biscuit is dried bread, roasted bread. Toast it, and kind of roast it, I guess. And then you put the cheese on it. There are even two different colors cheese. Imagine that. How nice. As one uh, resembles cheddar, it's yellow, and the other one is white. Put them on top of the biscuit. Slice a tomato and put it on, and we'll be just fine. My unprofessional kitchen, I have to do this first and I cook later. The few slices of tomato on it will taste delicious. Tomato on top of the cheese. Tomato on top of the cheese. Like that. Take a couple more. Vegan ham. This is a, a vegan uh, snack. It's a little bit sharp, eh? Piquant. Some 
similar to ham, but completely vegan. Tastes delicious, cruelty-free, healthy, and simple. I put a cup of this on the biscuit, that, and a slice of tomato as well. For a different taste, no? It's another a vegan ham here, which is not sharp. This one is not sharp. That one has a little chili in it, so it's sharper. So your guests can have choices. If you serve them like this, it looks like uh, the meat ham that people eat. Just tastes better, healthier. Not expensive, cruelty free, bloodless, peaceful, and noble to eat. Let's put a slice on here as well. And a tomato. That's all we have. That's all we need. And it looks wonderful already. Just arrange it nicely. Mm -hmm. Arrange it nicely so it looks appetizing. Wow! That's very, very cool. Then you can uh, sprinkle a little black pepper on the tomatoes. And it's already, I think, salty enough. There's no need to put any salt on it. It would look just wonderful like this. And there's no need to have meat. This is wonderful itself. So we have plantain. You don't have plantain, you use banana. Normal banana, like what I'm doing now. Just one, one banana or one plantain, good enough. Peel it, turn on your cooker. We heat the oil up, we need just a cooking spoon of olive oil or cooking oil, put it in the pan, put it there while I'm skinning the banana. And we slide it on the long side, half the banana, half it. Slide it in half. The length of it. Perfect. Keep it there. Plate. And fry it. One enough for one person. You can make two. Oh, I have another one, by the way. I make one more in case one of my assistants come in and I can invite her or him. Today, there was her and a him working outside my kitchen for the purpose. So I don't know who's the lucky person who will come in here and enjoy an extra banana. No extra food. Okay, the banana we slide it in half and we keep it aside, wait until the oil is heated up. We have some cabbage as vegetable. Cut them into bite sizes. Simple, easy. Just a handful of it is good enough. If you have coriander, you put the coriander in. If you don't have, this should be fine. And you have some leftover red uh, bell pepper, colorful, just for color. Slide it together. All this is optional for the look of it. Otherwise, just cabbage, rice, tofu. Plantain, yes or no? All these color things, yes or no, doesn't matter. The oil is already very, very hot. 
turn it low a little bit so it doesn't burn my plantain. Now I put the banana in or plantain. One, two, three, ah, four. Try it until it goes and go on both sides. I'm going to keep the rice compound. You can invent any kind of cooking you like, huh? It doesn't have to be like everybody else. And while the plantain is frying there, we can do something else. Keep the heat to almost to the warm, not too warm. Not too cold. Yeah, the oil is good too. Easy. Triangle. Meanwhile, you can break your tofu. Just cross it with your hand. Break it. Just break the tofu. Into crumble. You can call it crumbly tofu. <laughs> Crumple the tofu if you want. If you crumble the tofu, then the spice will penetrate better and quicker, so you don't have to wait too long while your guest is in a hurry and hungry. That's the only reason. Otherwise, you can leave the Piece of tofu and fry it, but it doesn't taste the same. It's better crumbled. I'll slice it into small pieces. I have shown you that already. Wow, already golden. So good, good, good. Good, Well, I'm waiting for that. Okay, check out if I have some coriander in the fridge. You make it nice and colorful. And we have some. That's cool. If you don't have coriander, you can use celery, but the uh, coriander tastes much better with this type of food. You can also have it with mushroom, but like this. I just want to show you that it doesn't have to be complicated. Just uh, one or two simple ingredients and uh, some spice, salt, pepper even. It tastes delicious already. Good. We're going to get the banana out before they cry. Ah, banana goes onto the plate. Good. It's so golden already. See how golden it looks. That's it. This is enough now. So we put it aside. It's uh, very fragile, the real banana. The plantain would be a little bit harder, easier to handle. So if you use an ordinary banana like what I'm doing now, you be careful so it doesn't break. It also tastes nice, it just doesn't look as good. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the biscotti with vegan cheese, vegan ham, and tomatoes, the ingredients are biscotti, vegan cheese, vegan ham, tomato, black pepper. For the deep fried plantains, the ingredients are plantains or bananas vegetable oil. He who sees that the Lord of all is ever the same in all that is, immortal in the field of mortality, he sees the truth. And when a man sees that the God in himself is the same God in all that is, he hurts not himself by hurting others. Then he goes indeed to the highest path, Bhagavad Gita, Hinduism. Charming viewers, it's been a pleasure to have your company today. Please join us again next Sunday for part two of this show, where we will learn more cooking tips from our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai. 
Coming up next is The Two Little Devils, part 5 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May heaven's light shine brightly upon you and your loved ones. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash G-O-L.